This is where we believe again, tell the story and trust again. The flesh is just the right size to fit all of God and hope and light and promise and forgiveness and love. And so we find ourselves in this unique place with a mother and father and a God, none of whom able to comprehend the weight of the promise they bear. Hello, I'm Roddy Hamilton, the minister of New Kilpatrick Parish. And on behalf of us all, I hope this season is special and peaceful and a time to pause and reflect just for a, a few moments on the promise that we are given. And in this time, I hope that the, the promises we speak of become the sound of a child crying and gurgling and lying in a manger. So in this short time together, be it Christmas Eve or, or Christmas Day, we create that unique community that expects and hopes and dares believe God has become one of us. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of humanity. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not.
the smallest word of God, the tiniest hope, the most fragile light, all come together here and are proclaimed among us, pronounced by angels in the biggest word there is, love. Come and be born as one of us. The word becomes flesh, no longer print, no longer a story, no longer a creed, but human in all our imperfect form. May we make room for you here in the guise of every stranger. Love, come and be born as one of us. In all the good news we are drawn to and so readily hold, may we recognise the truth of the vulnerable and frightened. As heaven comes to earth, may we find you in the love that loved you into being. Come and be born as one of us. In all our 
our journeys, may we find they all lead here to the story of the staple, the child who is born, the time that is right, and the world waiting for love that will lead us towards each other again. Love, come and be born among us. There is a silence that holds the worry and fear of a mother giving birth. It holds the, the hesitation of a God letting go heaven and moving into flesh. That holds the anxiety of a father whose wife is birthing a child not his own. That holds the angel chorus waiting for their first note in a song of good news that holds the stars in place and leads the wise ones to the place of birth. That holds the shepherd's excitement, first with the news, the Prince of Peace is born. There is a silence here that holds each one of us in a promise called God. Let us break the silence and proclaim the ancient promise, Emmanuel is among us. Thank you for your invitation to join you in this special time of year. Thank you for joining us in the video all the way through the year up to now. And we will be, of course, keeping our video going and the, the podcast and the, the phone line services all the way into the new year as well. There's a quiet week after Christmas. Everything shuts down for a pause, a deep breath, uh, as we look forward towards the new year. So please do come back and join us in the new year here on our, web, our YouTube channel 
and maybe meet some more characters from the, the Bible that we're all intrigued by and find new ways to tell these stories. But for now, I think we all hope that you have a very peaceful and blessed new year and one that is full of the richness of life and finds the moments of hope, that, that, that those kindling lights that tell us God really is with us. Hope really is still alive. Please enjoy this season. Keep safe, look after each other, and we'll see you in the new year. Go in peace. Be the peace the world needs. Be the good news so many are looking for. Go and enjoy the celebration that is Christmas and the truth that is incarnation. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the common life of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>